Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertos. You're incredibly, extremely, amazingly, wonderfully, outstandingly, does that work? Handsome science teacher. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about discovering labs. Every master badge that we do on Handsome Science Teacher is, uh, is what? I don't know. How about this? Begins with a discovering lab. Well, what is a discovering lab? And why do I start all of the master badges with a discovering lab? It is intentional. And there is a reason. And it's a good reason, in my opinion. Okay. So... Research has found that human children, half-sized humans, those, you know, they're like adults, but they're smaller, those things, you sometimes see them running around. Anyway, uh, research has found that children, and everyone really, learns better, learn better, and retain what you learn if you do the research and the learning yourself. It's one thing, and less effective, for me to go blah, 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 and teach you the stuff. And it's quite another for you to make the discoveries yourself. Now, I do teach you still, right? We have the videos where I go through the subject and I do go blah, 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 and I lecture you. But before that, prior to listening to me teach, first, you need to do, you should do a discovering lab. And in the discovering lab, you will make your own discoveries. So every mastery badge has a discovering lab at the very beginning. And the purpose of the discovering lab is to get your hands wet or get your feet wet, uh, which is a metaphor because I you don't really have to get your hands and feet wet. Uh, well, sometimes you actually will, but discovering labs have you doing hands-on activities that are designed to help you discover the science, the content, whatever it is we're studying in that mastery badge for yourself. You won't necessarily know the vocabulary yet. That's what will happen in the video. Okay, I'll fill that stuff in. But you'll see with your own wee little eyes how the subject matter, whatever it is, how it works. You'll make your own discoveries. And let me tell you something. It is way more powerful for you to obtain the knowledge that way. You'll remember it so much better if you make your own discoveries. So when you do a discovering lab at the beginning of each mastery badge, don't cheat. Don't go watch the video first because that's less effective. Just jump into it and follow the directions and do your best. That's what science is right? Scientists don't know what, what, they're, what they're exploring, experimenting with. They don't know what the outcome will be. They don't know what the results will be. Okay, They're making discoveries for the first time. So there is no way for them to cheat and look ahead and see what the thing is. And that's what you want to do. You want to be a scientist when you're doing a discovery lab. Now, in the discovering lab labs, there are often questions, very specific questions, as specifico, which is Spanish for specific, uh, such as, I don't know, maybe what is the job of the mighty mitochondria if we're learning about cells? So maybe in the uh, mastery badge about animal cells, maybe one of the questions in there says, what is the job of the mighty mitochondria? And you're like, I don't know. How would I know that? You haven't told me yet, Mr. Bertosh. You might be handsome, but you didn't tell me that. Well, how can you find that answer? There are resources, are there not? Okay. Scientists also do a lot of research. So not just experimenting, but research as well. Where could you go to find 
what is the job of the mighty mitochondria? You could go to Google. You could go to a lot of places, the library, which is what we did when I was a child. And uh, Google's way easier now, but you could, the library still works. Okay. There are science books, right? There's a lot you could do to look up the mighty mitochondria. That's not cheating. Okay. Watching the video is cheating, in my opinion, uh, prior to doing the Discovery Lab. But researching on your own is not cheating because that is also a way for you to discover the knowledge and stick it into your brain. In every Master Badge, we are trying to touch different parts of your brain. The more parts of your brain, this is also research-based, the more parts of your brain we can touch, the better the content will stay in your brain for evers and evers and evers. So we're doing the hands-on stuff, which is one part of your brain, and then we're making you research on Google or wherever, library or wherever, which is another part of your brain. And then you're watching my video, which is another part of your brain. Uh, and listening, and so hands-on things and listening, and we're going to do a literacy assignment, which is reading and writing. All of the th these things are different ways that we can interact with the content, and the more ways we interact with the content, the more that knowledge will solidify in your brain, because we're touching different parts of your brain, and we're touching them repeatedly, okay? So when you start a lab, Take the take your time with the discovering lab, make your discoveries, and you don't even know what discoveries you've made yet, and that's okay. You, you follow the instructions carefully, do the thing, do the experiment, make your observations, and you'll be like, I have no idea what any of this means. But then when you do your own research, or when you watch the video, or when you do the literacy assignment, it's all going to gradually come into focus so that by the time you complete the mastery badge, your brain will be so smart and it will explode, literally. Oh, no, it will not. It will not explode. But you will be so smart and that will be wonderful. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes, all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your uh, your science student. So sign up, subscribe to the channel. And I release lots of videos. Also, in addition to these ones, lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics. Those ones, you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted. And those ones are scripted. So you don't have to hear me like you are right now going blah, blah, blah. The end. Uh, subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.